Hello, in this video I will show you what's new in the hair baking setup. So let's open sidebar and in the hair bake panel click open baking scene, confirm closing current scene. And this is what you will get if you have Blender 3.0. In previous Blender you will get a previous uh, scene. So the hair you see in here are geometry node uh, based. And I will show you how to modify them. You can do this from this uh, panel, hair nodes. And in here you have some uh, deformers and you can change the settings to get different uh, looks. Uh, so now I will uh, show you how to create one of those from scratch. I will remove the one you see in here and I will add plane. You can add an mesh as source for your hair nodal, nodal hair systems. And now I will apply rotation and scale and create new system with this plus icon. By default, we have the basic generate strands deformer. You can change the density of strands, length and uh, resolution. Resolution is based on the steps. It is basically a doubling the count every time you increase the steps. So now let's add another deformer. Uh, they are described in the documentation. I will link, leave link below the video. And maybe let's add another deformer, this time clamping. You see there is a child in the brackets. It means it will require a school current system to be set as child. So I will set this as child with this icon, but this is not the result we want. It is because we have no another system. And so I will add parent system. Just we added new system and named this parent. Uh, the name actually doesn't matter, but it has to be on top of the old system. So I will move this up and now I will rename the old one to child. And uh, there is something happening, but it is not looking correct. Maybe I will reduce the density. And uh, the result is uh, wrong because the parent and child system have different uh, resolutions. So I can manually set them both to five or I can uh, synchronize them with this lock icon. So that now we will use global steps. And if I set this to global in here too, so now both systems are sharing the same value of steps. We can do this also for length. So I will use global length value in child and global length in parent. And now both systems are uh, working correctly. So with that, you can add uh, now another modifiers, maybe like curly hair, and uh, you can increase maybe the density like so. And the system look is looking quite uh, fake. It is because the parents are going str in straight lines. So I will add another deformer, moist deformer. For now, I will disable the child and I will. Uh, modify the settings, maybe reduce the frequency, reduce the amplitude in here. And let's say, let's say we like this result. If I enable chat child systems like this, we have, we have now the effect that looks like so. And uh, we do not probably want those uh, parent strands showing up. So we can disable this using icon in here. And you can play with the settings, you can increase the density, maybe to add more variation. I will uh, add uh, randomization in length using trim node like this. And I will maybe go to child and reduce the noise or maybe disable this completely. So this is what we have right now. Uh, so sometimes you may want to add manual control to your hair strands, but the way it is set up now, everything is fully procedural. 
so we can uh, remove this procedural parent and uh, we can uh, set the manual curve guides with this button but right now i didn't create any curves yet so for that we can use interactive combing or hair driving so in my case i will use hair driving i will disable the snapping and while while i have this plane selected i can draft when holding d and left mouse click and drag so those will be the new guide strands and i will copy the new created curve that we just have drawn and will paste this as guide mesh and bind this as to the so that the system hair system will see it and now every time we will update the hand draft uh, strokes you will see that the the hair system is updated and uh, you can also use hair modeling tools so with that you have full control over how your procedural hair will behave and how it will follow and to which place it will go uh, so yes i think that covers the basic of the system you can play with the other presets that are in this scene uh, also note that if you want you can duplicate this and change the settings uh, but uh, the if you now change the settings uh, you will see hopefully that both systems are changing it is because they are now uh, linked and they are shared so you can uh, unlink the system by clicking this icon and now if i change the settings we have the separate properties in the left and separate on the right so that's it and see ya